Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back. Today I'm doing a quick video on grain to grain transfers, which is a method of inoculation for mushroom mycelium grain, also known as grain spawn. This is actually a pretty simple process, but I wanted to show you the finer points of how I do it and how I've minimized contamination or competing organisms in my grain spawn. Before we get started, I just wanted to give one quick note. This video is free and ad-free thanks to your support. Without your support, I wouldn't be able to afford the equipment and take the time to make these videos. So I really appreciate anything you can do to help keep this going. If you go to my website, oneearthmushrooms.com, you'll see a link that has ways that you can contribute. Also on the website, I've got a lot of great ingredients and tools for growing mushrooms. Feel free to check that out while you're there. Your support means a lot. Thank you. For this process, I'll be using my still air box, a spray bottle of 70% isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol, a wipe colonized grain spawn and a virgin grain. And just a note, for this video, I'm only going to be showing one jar of grain being inoculated, but I often do 10 to 12 jars at a time inside the still air box. I also use a one tablespoon measuring spoon. Start by breaking up the colonized grain and make sure there's no big clumps in it. I then move my spray bottle and wipe into the still air box and give everything a really good spray down. After I've sprayed it, I wipe it all down until it's dry. And then I move the grain into the still air box. I remove the rings from the jars Set those aside. And then spray the outside, particularly the lip right underneath the lid with isopropyl alcohol. And then give it a wipe down with my wipe. After that, I crack the lid on the donor grain and the receiving grain. Take one tablespoon of the donor grain and move it over into the receiving grain. Put the lids back on both and spin on the rings. I inoculate at a rate of approximately one tablespoon of donor grain per 200 grams of receiving grain. All that's left is to shake the new jar, label it, and set it aside somewhere warm while the grain is colonized. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon.